What's up? All right, guys. Something big just dropped today. I reacted to Horizon Forbidden West story trailer not too long ago. That video did pretty good, so I think I'm going to try this one out. This video, according to the research I did, is an IGN employee who got to play four hours of this game before it even comes out. That lucky motherfucker. So, apparently, I can't get a code because I'm a peasant. I'm still broke, motherfucker. I don't work at IGN. I'm not a game developer. I'm not a game, you know, journalist. So, fuck me. I have to wait till it comes out like normal people. It's fine. I'm not mad. I'm, I'm not pissed. It's cool. Yeah, so jokes aside, I'm excited to see what this dude is going to say about this game. So, without further ado, guys, I'm not going to talk too much. I just want to pay attention to this video because this video is going to be 12 minutes long. So, there's going to be a lot of information thrown at me. It's going to be a lot of pause that I'm going to be doing to break it down to let you guys know what's going on. If you guys just, you know, are casual Horizon players, I got you covered. So, without further ado, let's go. Once again, amazing. It looks beautiful. We already Horizon know this. Zero Dawn introduced an amazing it. foundation to Guerrilla Games' post post apocalyptic world. Following it up is no small feat, but no. after four hours of hands on time with early four portions hours. of its sequel, Horizon Forbidden West is shaping up to be a fulfillment of all the promises made by its predecessor. Okay. Combat is more complex, Look exploration is more freeing, yep. and the world is teeming with more intriguing life, okay, both robotic back. and human, and meaning. Combat is more exploration is more. Okay, so this part right here, they said during the gameplay trailer revealed that um it's gonna be more free free climbing to where it's not gonna be blatantly obvious to where these things are gonna show up. I think you gotta use your focus scan to actually make these things pop up for you to find to actually jump on stuff. But I'm not sure if it's gonna be kind of like how Breath of the Wild is or um uh, Genshin Impact to where you get to just climb stuff that's out of nowhere and you have a stamina bar that limits the how, how much freedom you have on how much hits you can climb on. I'm not sure how the climbing system is yet, but I know for sure it's going to be less dynamic than what you're seeing right here. You have to pull up your focus scan to pull this stuff up. Freeing, and the world is teeming with this more intriguing crazy. life, both robotic and human, and meaningful things to do. The Forbidden West in all its glory still waits to be seen, but I'm not forbidden from telling you about so much of why it's an adventurer just, on which... Just imagine fi fighting that giant snake out there. Just imagine that shit. I put my pants on. My bad, man. I'm cutting you off. <laughs> my time with Forbidden West didn't start exactly where Aloy's journey begins in the sequel, but okay. rather a little into her quest to find new answers and maybe save humanity along the way. It's been six months since uh, the events of Horizon Zero Dawn. Six months. And Aloy has noticed throughout the world that this red blight is kind of encroaching everywhere. Okay. And this is a world ending threat and she has to find a way to stop it. The first big question I had when jumping in was how much freer exploration actually would be. I want to see Zero this. Dawn did many things right, but its climbing navigation was one of its most I just frustrating brought that up. limitations. Yep. Forbidden West doesn't make every single inch of its world climbable, okay. which may be disappointing to some, but it was immediately apparent and appreciable just how much more of the world is scalable. So not like Breath of the Wild. To do so. And it's made better by an improved focus. A quick click of R3 causes a pulse scan around Aloy, revealing resources to pick up, as well as more importantly, highlighting climbing nice. parts of the world. Okay. Another nice so that's the same, is the basically. A fancy sort of grappling hook that lets the player pull Aloy to her. Can I just say, in um, 2021 and 2022, the big thing in all games that's like the big revolutionary thing, I'm not I'm not complaining about it, though. I, I'm actually very excited to use this. But for some odd reason, every new game that has that comes out later on throughout its life cycle, the main thing that they will add is a grappling hook. Halo did it. Uncharted did it. And now this game does it. I'm just, I just find it funny. You know what I'm saying? Like, that the innovative thing is a uh, grappling hook, always. <laughs> so, you know... <laughs> But whatever, it's cool. It's gonna look dope in this though, but it fits in here. Reach or further points. It's even something that can be used in conjunction with the shield wing, a glider Aloy obtained near the end of my demo. Now that glider is straight up Watch Breath of the Wild point, feels right quick. Aloy that's that's dope. The skies and pull casting to an interesting spot screen. on a nearby cliff face creates a real degree of look freedom missing look at the fucking scope. Forbidden West seems purpose built oh. to ensure that every Sorry. Sorry, no. Not sorry. I'm not sorry at all. Let me show you how this. Shieldwing, a glider Aloy obtained near the end of my demo. Not this, though. 
launching off a point, letting Aloy soar through the skies, and pole casting to an interesting spot on a nearby cliff face Come creates on. a real degree of this. Do you see that shit? Freedom missing in Zero Dawn's movement. Forbidden West seems purpose built to ensure Water that everything better. you do has my main worthwhile about the last and game. varied rewards. Deeper Settlements is a core part of Forbidden West, and if my time in Chain Scrape, the first one I came across, is any indication, there will be a lot for players to find, discover, Jesus. and lose hours to play. I bet. We really wanted to improve, we really wanted to kind of like listen to the fans and listen to our reviewers, and also based on our own internal feedback. And so there was a whole set of I wonder if they're still going to have the same dude because who helped them with the side quest in the last game was a writer from The Witcher. So that's the reason why when Horizon Zero Dawn came out, the side quests were actually meaty and they were actually um, eventful and meaningful because the, the person who helped out with The Witcher's side quest to make them meaningful, they I, I'm not sure if he was a consultant or he, he actually worked on the team. I'm not sure. But if they got the same person from last game to build on this game, oh, it's going to be dope. Things we wanted to do with settlements, including general sense of them being more lifelike, better animations, better schedules for the NPCs, uh, and also audio. We really wanted to improve. On my monitor, this would look fucking audio, dude. In the sense that when you go into any given place in the settlement, it has its Jesus own Christ, and I got a monitor specifically for the PS5. And we also have a situation where Aloy is going in to the Forbidden West and encountering new tribes. Okay. Specifically the Utaru and the Tanakh. Tanakh, really okay. wanted to make sure those were as differentiated as possible with, you know, NPCs doing things that they would only do in that tribe. Exactly. Uh, to give it that sense of life. The center point Look at of the, the lighting, nigga. busy brewery had so many cute little bespoke animations of characters sharing a pint, laughing at stories being told, and more. But settlements How aren't going to be just full of NPCs you can't interact with. There seem Gorilla to be more side quests is, and worthwhile is, is ones top tier. There is also a wider swath of side objectives I encountered in and out of town, like melee fight pits, environmental puzzles, nice. and even more, like an in-universe board game called Machine Strike that I'm already setting aside a dozen or so hours to lose playing it. I'm gonna be playing this for fucking hours. I'm clapping like a fucking... <laughs> And all of these objectives don't feel like one of any open world's biggest potential problems. Filler. Instead, narrative director Ben McCaw explained how everything is built with more and better rewards in mind, nice. whether they be new equipment, outfits, outfits weapons, or key pieces of lore. It's great to have a huge open world, but if all of the activities in it feel kind of tacked on or, or not related or not essential, that's not a great feeling. No. We wanted to make sure that there's a certain path through this game where if players want to experience uh, the main quest and kind of get to the end of the story as quickly as possible, uh, that they could do that. And also, there's definitely a, a progression through this game that's really focused on combat. But okay. if there is going to be an activity in the world, uh, a board game, um, a melee board game? Hit, um, even a camp or out, outpost associated with Regala's Rebels, or, or there are other examples, um, things that return from the previous game, they all need to feel part of the world. They all need to be part of the story. Exactly. Okay, so what what they had in the last game, they had this thing to where um, if you needed materials, you get to create a job. That was the most unique feature that they had in Horizon Zero Dawn that's not in any other game besides MMOs and shit like that. That was a key feature that they had in the last game. I wonder how they're going to build on that for this one. I enjoyed much of Zero Dawn's ensemble, but I kind of fell in love with almost every character, new and old, big and small, in the West. Aloy has been endearing from minute one, but Ashley Birch plays her with such a charming determination that is as enjoyable to watch in action as she defies bureaucrats unwilling to take action to get things done, as it is painful to see keep her at arm's length nice. from close friends like Erend and oh, Petra, who Ooh. care so deeply for her. I'm asking nicely. Arrest her! I'd like to see you try. So what we wanted to do with Aloy in the Forbidden West is just put her under as much pressure as possible. And so obviously she has the pressure of trying to resolve the blight, which is a right. world ending threat. And she has all the other pressures of like fighting machines and just trying to survive in this world. But she also has this other pressure of trying to live up to the example of her genetic mother, Elizabeth Sobat. Right. This is probably one of the greatest people in history and someone who literally almost single-handedly saved the world. Exactly. It's a very, very high bar for Aloy to live up to and it affects her interactions with other people. 
It's also important uh, to remember that this is someone who grew up an outcast and only just started to interact with the world as a whole in the previous game. Mm -hmm. And while this opening section is some of the new series. tribes Aloy will interact with in the West, it also heralded the arrival of her new enemy, Regala. And what an introduction She's working for Cyrus, it is. I think. Played with such power by Angela Bassett, Angela Regal Bassett. is I immediately know that was her. positioned as a force to be reckoned with, and it only appears to scratch okay. the surface of her power. Aloy's companions offer um, different interactions that uh, display different aspects of Aloy's power. I wonder how their interactions and This be. is something that uh, carries through the whole game. It's actually one of the major themes of the game is how does she relate to other people? How does she relate to her companions? How does that change her as a person? And Aloy's companions are really central to the story and the themes of the Forbidden West. Okay. It's really the way that she relates to each of them differently and the impact that they have on her that really forces her to kind of evolve her personality throughout the game. Aries. Luckily, Aloy has a few new friends and Ooh. new tools and skills at her disposal to rise to the occasion. There are now six lengthy skill trees players can invest in based now, on their style. Crazy. It should all pair nicely with the expanded oh, hold up a second. I like the menu. outfits you'll acquire. And in another nice twist on established systems, outfits are more closely tied to these skill trees. And some will offer stat oh, boosts that can make skills even stronger. Notably, melee combat is also improved. Oh, 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 of course. Evil rises. Our only hope dies in these brave warriors. Fuck you. There's a far greater fluidity in the animations and how they chain together, and it also seems like a more Look viable option shit. in general, thanks to new skills like the impressive Resonator Blast. There will also be new weapons like the Javelin Thrower, while returning items like Trip Casters and Standard Elements. Oh, Dog, melee combat is dope. Comeback. But there's now a wider amount of those elements as well, including acid arrows that can be deployed with a precise strike to use acid bearing machines' own toxicity against them. Oh, this is going machines, to be cool. of course, are a major part of oh, the attraction sure. of Horizon's world. And, and at least so yep. far, Forbidden West is still capturing that mix of wonder, awe, and trepidation that comes with meeting these creatures. There's a nice blend of new and returning machine types, like the acidic bristlebacks, returning scrappers and chargers, okay. and even something new like the burrower. Now, can we get flying in? Saving some of Forbidden West's biggest battles for players, including myself, to play through when the full game is released. But I do get to take on here. one of my most eagerly anticipated this, newcomers, the venomous Slitherfang. To do so, I jumped a bit further into Forbidden West to try out its new arena, an optional area where players will take on various challenges, needing to finish them under a certain time limit to earn nice. medals that unlock some that's of the people's best equipment. That's gonna replace the, the training thing with its whole new suite of devastating attacks is a prime example of the ingenuity Gorilla displays with Horizon's combat. Look Coupled with all the new weapons game. and skills, which I admittedly was still just getting the hang of, defeating the Slitherfang in time was immensely gratifying in the way taking down Zero Dawn's biggest foes was. But with new tricks for both Aloy and foes, these fights are a fresh joy to discover as I worked out the best way to succeed, or at least survive. I played this particular battle in Forbidden West's frame rate mode, though I switched between the favoring resolution and performance oh, they got the two modes. and found both. See, that's my main gripe with um, these new games that's coming out on the PS5 and a PS4. They're going to keep doing this split shit to where they're going to do the resolution mode in, uh, in uh, um, the what's the name, 60 frames per second mode. I want those things combined. I want you literally focused, and I know this is selfish of me, but fuck it, I don't care. I got a PS5. So I want to get the best out of what I paid for. So I want these next games coming forward to just focus on bringing out the best of the PS5. I'm sick of this. I have to choose shit. I don't want to have to choose between the two. We shouldn't have to. Worthy of my time. Playing on PS5, Forbidden West World is a sight to behold. From stunning vistas with lengthy views to the enhanced level and amount of detail in a settlement like Chainscrape, to smoother animations both in and out of combat. She's still doing her crazy shit. That's damn near suicidal if you don't know how to Forbidden do that. Forbidden West is frequently <laughs> dazzling. Appreciably, whereas Zero Dawn's conversations usually involve tight shots on two characters talking, mm -hmm. almost every conversation I had in Forbidden West saw the camera so pull back more and let characters be more uniquely animated in their movements and facial expressions. So it's not Fallout. I knew something worth looking at in this dump. It's nice to see you too. 
Thankfully, we're only under a month away from getting to see all of this play out in full. And my time with Horizon Forbidden West has me more assured than ever that Gorilla has really refined and evolved the Horizon experience with Forbidden West. There is an enormous amount of story and territory and combat to be had. Uh, but the slice that we did give you is really uh, near the beginning of Aloy's journey, um, near the beginning of her uh, sojourn in the Forbidden West, and also just the very beginning of her evolution of her. Okay. It's an easy comparison to make, but often an apt one. The leap here feels like it could be that jump from Assassin's Creed 1 to Assassin's Creed 2, which is saying something Sweet. considering yeah. how solid Zero Dawn all Yeah, Horizon was. Zero Dawn but was beautiful. It's still beautiful. had about the original seems to have been thought through. And then some. Aloy's new journey seems more robust and rewarding than I expected, while retaining the wonder and awe that the predecessor that? delivered on. I still don't know quite what the Forbidden West itself will hold, but after my hands-on, I've never been more excited to find out. And they didn't even do the underwater sure section. Podcast beyond conversation about even more details from our hands-on time with Forbidden West. And if you're interested in hearing about more PlayStation exclusives, be sure to check out our Art of the Level on an Uncharted mm. 4's greatest chase sequence. Okay. And for everything else in the world of PlayStation, you're already in the right place. It is. IG. Yeah. Fuck y'all. Motherfuckers, you get to play four hours early. Fuck you. I'm just playing. Thanks for, the, thanks for showing this shit. <laughs> That's crazy. Mm. Nice. Yeah, way to end it. Okay, well, there we have it. That was the Horizon Forbidden West video from the IGN employee. I liked it a lot. It showed me a lot of things I didn't know, and it showed me a lot of things that confirmed my suspicion that actually made me more excited. Where the fuck did you come from? So if you guys like the video, please like and subscribe to the video. Well, like the video, subscribe to my channel. If you guys want to see more of this, hit the comments down below. But now it's time for plug time. I'm about to plug my shit. Just in case you guys don't know, I'm actually an artist on Instagram. I'm a digital designer, anime illustrator on Instagram. I do a whole lot of stuff dealing with the anime field, that type of stuff like that. So if you guys want to support me, if you guys are new to this, you guys don't know who I am, you just know me from YouTube, let me introduce myself. My name is JTC, J the Concept. I actually have a whole bunch of stuff that you might actually find interesting if you guys like anime that type of stuff so on my shop i got stickers we got prints and there's a thing i do every single tuesday called jt tuesdays to where i actually draw live every single tuesday and i draw traditionals traditionals as well with all these pieces you can find them on jt www.jdeconcept.com and yeah that's that's my short little plug so yeah without further ado thanks for watching i'm out i put my pants on <laughs>